Today we discover the recipe for a highly rewarding career, the cook. Hi Steve, I'm Viviana. Hi Viviana, nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Oh, I'm excited. Do I get an outfit like yours? You get the apron, the jacket, the hat, the whole works. As a cook, we take raw product, we process it, we heat it, we present it and serve it to the guest on their plate. So we will take vegetables and fruits and peel, process, cut, chop, cook, cool, reheat. We'll take raw meats, break them down into smaller pieces. So we'll make all our steaks, we'll make all our stew beef. We make all our own stocks, we make all our own soups and sauces. So it's, it's quite a varied day. I mean, you, you can be asked to do just about anything at any time. Generally our days start about between 6.30 and 7. Um, and we'll take the early shift, we'll go to 3 30, 4 o'clock, and then an evening shift will come in at 2, and they'll be here till about 10 or 11. When I come in in the morning, the first thing I need to do is, is prioritize and, and determine what needs to be done, and what needs to be done now, and what needs to be done for later on today, for tomorrow, maybe for the next day. So once I've got the, you know, the priorities done, I've got my, my mise en place list done, or my, my job list done for the day, then I need to go in and look at the products that we're working with, talk to the chef, find out if there's, you know, what, what, how many people we're expecting in the restaurant that night. Then when service comes around, that's when the, that's when things get really exciting. Uh, the orders start flowing and hopefully we've done everything right up to that point and everything goes like clockwork. It's really important that you're able to use your hands in this job. Um, everything we do is, is, is very tacit. We, we, we're touching things, we're feeling things all the time. You have to be able to feel when a piece of meat is cooked properly or when two ingredients are folded and blended together sufficiently but not overmixed. It's absolutely imperative that you're, you're constantly aware of your surroundings. Um, we're, we're, we're in a dangerous environment. Anyway you slice it, we've got hot fats, we've got sharp knives, we've got spinning machinery. We've got people moving around just to people in, you know, in, in amongst the kitchen, moving with a tray of hot food. If you're not having eyes in the back of your head and expecting somebody to be there, and you turn around, well, you're wearing their tray or they're wearing your tray or whatever the case may be. So Steve, this is a very, very busy environment to be working in. How do you keep your head on straight when you've got a gazillion orders coming in? Well, you've got to have the things going that are going to take you the longest. You've got to get them on first, and especially when you've got multiple people. So I'm doing um, meat section today. Right. I've got Anouk down there doing vegetables. I've got Candice over here doing starches. We all have to bring to our food together at the same time. Communication really is the lifeblood of what we do. When the chef comes to me and says, I need you to do this task by this time for this many people. Then when I make what I think is right, and the chef comes in and goes, well, that's not what I meant. The communication was not good in the first place. Once you've, once you've learned the skills as a cook, um, the, the, that skill set really has a lot of scope and a lot of opportunity. A high-paced, very busy kitchen can be an exciting place to work. It's a, an emotion that's very difficult to describe when you come off of a good service, when everything's gone well, and you know you've, you've, you've put good food out, and everybody's been happy. It's really very, very satisfying. Thank you so much, Steve. I had a lot of fun today. Oh, Viviana, thanks for coming in and visiting us. You're welcome. I hope you can come back and see us again soon. I will. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Once again, this is Career Trek, and I'm Viviana, reminding you that this career could be yours. See you next time.